Every VCE subject is scaled before it can be used in the ATAR. In this video, we're going to discuss how we do it and why. Firstly, scaling is not about how hard or how easy we think subjects are. It's about measuring how competitive each subject is. But what does that mean? Well, first, we have to talk about VCE study scores. The first thing to understand about VCE study scores is that they're actually rankings or relative positions that measure your performance compared to all other students who took that study. They're reported as a figure between zero and 50 and 30 is always the average. So if you achieve a study score of 30 in chemistry, for example, that means that you have performed better than 50% of all VCE chemistry students in that year. Now each VCE subject has a unique student cohort. For example, the group of VCE students undertaking literature is different to the group doing chemistry, which is different to the one doing economics. So because each group is unique, and because study scores rank performance in each subject alone, it can be harder to be average and get 30 in some subjects than in others. Not because of an inherent difficulty in the subject, but because of who else is doing it. This means that you can be of equal strength in two subjects and receive different study scores for them. To explain this, let's use a sporting analogy by taking two races of the 100 metre sprint. One is the Victorian final, the other is the Olympic final. Both are running the same distance, under the same rules, but it will be harder to get middle place in the Olympic final because you're running against a more competitive group. In some VCE subjects, it can be harder to get the middle study score of 30 because you're undertaking it with a more competitive cohort of students. Whether it's a race or a study, ranking middle will always be harder when the competition is greater. Scaling allows us to determine how competitive each subject is and then gives us a result as if every year 12 had done the same subject. So how do we do it? Using chemistry as an example, we look at all of the VCE students who did chemistry and how they performed in all of their subjects. If the chemistry students average above 30 for their studies, including chemistry, then this tells us that their overall performance is above average. The subject was more competitive, so scaling goes up. If the students average lower than 30, say 28, scaling would go down as it would demonstrate that the competition was lower and that it was easier to achieve the average score of 30. Scaling isn't about individual students or schools either. Subjects are scaled exactly the same for the entire state. With scaling, we can compare each student fairly because it determines that the level of achievement in one subject is the same as every other study. It means that you won't be unfairly disadvantaged by choosing a subject which is very competitive or unfairly advantaged by choosing a subject which is less competitive. Every subject is scaled from scratch each year, so if the subject was scaled down last year, it doesn't mean that's going to happen again this year. The competition can, and does, change each year. Sometimes people look at the scaling process from previous years when choosing their subjects, but this can be a mistake. If you choose a subject that you're not good at and don't enjoy just because it was scaled up last year, it's likely that you won't perform very highly and that even after scaling, your overall study score would be lower than if you had chosen a subject that you were good at. The way to ensure that you achieve your best ATAR is to choose studies according to what interests you, what you're good at, what you enjoy, and which studies you need to achieve your future study goals. For more information, visit our website at vtac.edu.au.